welcome to Hokshi Gardens Homestead. Um, we are getting ready to service all of our lanterns. And this is how we really like to light our house. Now, that being said, yes, we are on the grid. And yes, right now we do have lights on because we're doing a video. <laughs> but um, it's winter time, or getting close to it anyway. I know we've got another month before actual winter time, but time change has happened. We are getting um, darker earlier, like at five o'clock. Yeah. So, um, and we don't want to use lights all that time. So uh, this is how we choose to light our house for the most part. Yes. And um, you can see that we have a good array of here. We have them all through our house, even in the bathroom, yes. even in the kitchen. Um, this is how I like to light uh, my house. Um, it is a good light. It is a lot cheaper than your electricity. And you know, really and truly when you're sitting in the living room and you have these lights going, it's kind of romantic. So it is. Yeah. Enjoy so, it. Yes, but you have to service them every so often. So Stan's getting ready to do that. His job is servicing the lamps themselves and Carl. <laughs> and mine is cleaning the tops. So yes. uh So Yes, I'm sorry. No, I was just going to let you have it. So, uh, I got my oil out. Now I've got some extra. I'm not sure how much it's going to take. I'm sure it's going to take more than just this one jug. But we'll go through and we'll clean the globes because you can see, I'm, I'm guessing you can see the black on there, the smut on there. So we'll be cleaning all that off. And as I'm taking them apart, and I'm doing it on a tray just in case I have some spillover. I usually don't, but just in case, I do. And I check the, the wicks. If the wicks aren't long enough where they get down into the fluid uh, properly, then I'll be changing those out because they got to get down into it deep enough. And I've got wicks here to replace the ones I need to replace. Uh, do you have a funnel? I got my but yeah, we'll go through each one and this is what we'll do to each one. We'll clean the globes, we'll fill up the oil, and we'll replace the wicks as we need to. It doesn't take long, but once you fill it up, that it lasts for a long time. We really, like Jean said, we really enjoy these. They're, they're neat. They're kind of nostalgic. I guess they are nostalgic. They are right? nostalgic. And and some of these are modern, but most of everything we have here is antique. Yes. And we go to um, thrift stores, but most of them we have found at either estate sales or garage sales. And um, we hit the mother load one time when we got this one, which. I love it's one of my favorite ones I got this one and I think four others at the same time and didn't even pay like $25 and I've seen one like this in an antique store and it was a hundred and something dollars so I got a really good deal this was thirsty or not oh. <laughs> and then that's it and I Just the plant or the wick rather. And make sure these um, the little turn things, you gotta make sure that those work real good. You know, wipe down the globe and everything while you're at it. Yeah. Thank you. Mm, That'll just save yeah, the like base. <laughs> That'll save me from having to do it when I Yes. And also you can make sure that there's no oil on because you don't want the oil to get yeah, I could have taken the tablecloth off and all that stuff. There's no reason to do that when you can just put something under to work, a tray to work on and then um, wipe it down before you set it over. Here, here's another one. And the difference is the one I just filled and then the next one, they're all different and they're all so cool. This one here, it's got oil in it, but I'm gonna go ahead and top it off. Now I have ordered some of these tops uh, just so that we'll have them in case we need them 
Um, I did notice one of them was getting a little hard to turn and um, had to really work with it. And I do want to replace that one, but um, Lehman's is out of them. So I have to wait for them to come back into stock. And look at this one. That one there is cool as can be. Yeah, this is one that you can um, walk through the house or from room to room and you can carry it very easily with you. I really like that one. This is a new one. New antique one. Yeah, new antique one. Just snug it down, don't, don't over tighten it. Yeah, it works good. This is pretty. That is pretty. I really like this one. Of course, I really like all of them. <laughs> I took the old wig out. Now I'll take the new wig. I'm going to put it in, slide it through the back side here as such. I'll push it up in there. Then I turn it into my little knob, my little handle and break it right up in there and see that and then i'm going to take and i'm going to get my length and it's okay to get it a little long because it, it will just set in the bottom of the bottle and it will work perfect you just want to make it it's got to be long enough Put a new wick in, it takes it for just a little bit because it's got to soak the oil all the way up through the top, otherwise it'll just burn like a piece of paper. And so make sure you do that. Once you put a new wick in, you let it set and you let it soak up that oil. We always wait till the next day to use it. That way it's had a good 24 hours to soak up and yes. we know that it's it's good and wet. Yes, 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 yes. Um, Another one of my favorites. Oh, I love one. this one too. Look at that. It looks like Granny's old vase. Uh -huh. That's as neat as can be. I don't know if you can see the colors of this, but it's a very pretty amber color. And yeah. this may be one of the oldest ones we have. Yeah, it's so pretty. put out a nice warm glow and in the winter time they actually put out a good bit of heat too so they yeah. help to heat your room yes um, so they help you save in a couple of ways now in washing the globes there are people that take newspapers and clean them out like that but not me I just use soap and water and um, it's easier for me <laughs> the newspaper thing is just hard especially trying to get your hand up in there in some of that area but soap and water a good rag does a they're real good and if you have trouble getting in here you can just get one of the bottle brushes and it cleans up really really easy yeah this is one of the new ones and it wasn't quite ready to light yet so just i'll it. get it out of the way yeah i was gonna say just lower it down but um so this is how we choose to light our house um especially in the winter time when time changes and it gets dark so late uh, you know, you go to bed in the dark, you get up in the dark, but this is what we like to do. 
Now I will say that I don't read by this light. I know Abraham Lincoln did, but um, I don't do that. I will turn a light on because we are, thank God, still on the grid. And uh, But if something happens, we don't have to worry about how we're gonna light our home. Um, you know, especially in the wintertime, ice gathers on the power lines and they go down and we've been without power here for two, three days. When we lived in Galveston, every time a storm came through, we were without electricity for, for sometimes days. I remember one time it was a week, we were without power. So these come in very handy. Besides the fact that it just saves you money on electricity, when something happens, you're ready for it and you won't have to worry about lighting your house. So thank you for joining us. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I also hope that it encourages you to um, get some lights for your home. Try to, try to save and be off the grid as much as possible. And the whole pur purpose of that is to be self-sustaining. Yes. Um, we don't need all this stuff all the time and uh, every place that you can cut it, the better it is for you. Because in all honesty, well, we never know what's down the road. And these are things and skills that we may need. These are supplies that we may need. If you wait till something happens, it's too late. Yes, I would be prepared to be ready. Yep. And they're beautiful. I enjoy these. They're just neat to have brown. And they're pretty. They really are. So thank you for joining us. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And we hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye. See ya.